assuming you watched this the week we published it, we've just celebrated Earth Day. And so I guess we are in Earth Day week. I'm sure by now you know what Earth Day is. And this year, 2020, marks the 50th Earth Day. It's helped gradually raise awareness of the planet and bring attention to what we humans are doing to destroy it. And if you're someone who calls BS on human-caused climate change, well, I'm going to ask you to just stop watching here because, frankly, the computer models are pretty clear how screwed we are right now. And I think COVID-19 is teaching us what happens when we decide not to listen to science. Still here? Good. <sighs> Let's carry on then. Earlier this week, I focused on electric vehicle affordability by highlighting some of the ridiculousness of high-end, very expensive electric models coming to market. And then a bit later on in the week, I focused how the current oil price crash won't negatively affect electric vehicles in the long term. But today, I want to do something a little different. Today, since many of us are working from home or sheltering in place, I want to highlight some fantastic YouTube channels that you should already have on your watch list. And rather than focus on well-known channels, I'm going to focus on channels that you may not have heard of, but ones which I honestly feel are well worth a look. And because we're in Earth Day week and changing our Earth's trajectory when it comes to man-made climate change is something that requires everyone's input, not just those with huge amounts of money to burn, I want to focus on people who are covering the electric vehicle world beyond your normal average car review. Some of the people I'm going to recommend today build their own vehicles, some take them apart. And yes, some do review cars, but with a level of honesty and realism that not all YouTube channels manage. So without further ado, let's get on with it. First, let's visit Ben Nelson. Ben is a longtime electric vehicle driver, advocate and maker, and I'm honoured to call him a friend. He's been making electric and plug-in vehicles for more than a decade, and his channel is a constant stream of information, entertainment, and most importantly, accessible makery. He's currently working on an electric tractor conversion, but you'll see his regular videos on solar panel installations and the cost of his electricity bill as a consequence, plus plenty more. And if you're interested in doing your own DIY electric car conversion, his video series on the same is a must watch. Next on my list is Andy, the electric vehicle man, or EVM as he goes by. Andy is a lovely guy who I've had the pleasure of meeting and working with, and he's a natural in front of the camera. While Andy does now own an entry-level Model 3, his electric vehicle experience goes far beyond that, including some time with a Renault Twizy and a Nissan Leaf, and he's got a level of honesty and common sense that few channels out there have. Because he is based in the UK, Andy's videos do tend to focus on more UK-centric topics, like his latest one focusing on leasing or PCPing, that's our financing in the UK, his new car. The next recommendation is one that's a bit of a left field because it's actually from a channel far bigger than this one, but the quality content is just so great. If you're someone who likes tearing things apart and liked to take things apart as a kid, then you really should have this on your watch list. I'm talking about the Weber Auto Channel from the Weber State University in Ogden, Utah. I'm not going to lie here. The channel, run by Professor John D. Kelly from the university in his spare time, goes super deep into many different vehicle teardowns, including well-known electric and hybrid models. But if you're curious as to what goes on or how your car is built, then really you should be watching his series. If you haven't, as a bonus, I should also throw in Munro Live by auto industry engineering expert Sandy Munro. It's a relatively new channel, but totally complements the Weber channel and combined, they're like Discovery Channel for EV engineering. And yeah, I mean old school Discovery Channel, not whatever it has turned into today. While we're on the subject of learning how electric vehicles work, I need to make sure that you know about Plug Life Television, which is run by a very experienced, wonderfully smart gentleman by the name of Ewan McTurk, who is not only someone who's owned electric vehicles longer than I have, but also happens to be an electrochemist by training. And that means that when it comes to batteries and energy use, he is your guy because that's his day job. 
Plug Life Television is the place to go if you want no-nonsense, easy to understand videos that are very well made and excellently narrated by a really lovely guy. One of my favourite videos of his is the road trip he made in his short-range Nissan Leaf across Scotland and the reality of what daily EV life can be without the need for a massive long-range battery pack. Go on, check it out. You will not be disappointed. If you need more inspiration for making epic road trips, why not check out Viba Vaca and his Plug Me In YouTube channel. He spent three years or thereabouts traveling from Europe to Australia in his converted electric car, arriving early last year. The resulting videos he made are certainly perfect for passing many hours of coronavirus lockdown. I've not met him personally, but I would love to get him on the show at some point in the future. It's always been a dream of mine to drive or ride around the world using a sustainable form of transportation. And frankly, I think Viber has done that in an amazing way by relying not on a massive support crew, but essentially the kindness of complete strangers. And he's shown that what we're taught in school and by mainstream media about other countries around the world isn't actually how things really are. I think that it's this lesson that we certainly should all be learning. Staying with adventurers, I can't not mention the lovely Chris and Julie Ramsey, aka Plugin Adventures. They're great friends, and while their YouTube channel doesn't detail their long trip from Scotland to Mongolia in the NSN Leaf, at least not yet, it's coming, there are plenty of short videos to entertain you. And their website also has plenty of links to interviews that they did about their epic road trip. Check them out. Chris and Julie are both wonderful, and so too are James and Kate, who also happen to run a lovely EV-centric YouTube channel you should watch. The name of this channel? James and Kate. Both James and Kate own electric vehicles as daily drivers, and they're constantly reviewing cars that are on sale in the UK and Europe, as well as testing out other forms of electric transportation too. James even did a review of the Opel Ampera E, or the Chevy Bolt. And since they have a young daughter, Florence, their reviews are based on real day-to-day -day driving use, not high-end track days. Their channel is well worth a subscription and they're both lovely people. So please make sure you add them to your subscription list. Although cars like the first generation Nissan Leaf are often ignored by car buyers as having poor range or problems with their batteries, there is a fantastic massive grassroots drive to make those cars usable again, with work in many countries including Canada, New Zealand and the Netherlands to design and build aftermarket battery packs for these vehicles. One company doing that is Dutch company Muxan, which has a neat little channel called Power Electronics Blog. It is essentially the vlog of the company's founder, and it is super nerdy, but it's well worth a watch if you like seeing what goes on inside the battery packs of cars like the Nissan Leaf. And you could learn a lot too. Next, I want to give a shout out to Johannes Hübner from the Open Inverter Project. He's part of a massive effort around the world to design, test and build power electronics that allow people to repurpose parts out of salvage electric and hybrid vehicles to give electric life to vehicles that once guzzled gas. It's a true upcycling channel and it's a channel that you're probably only going to be interested in if you have someone who has a more technical interest in electric vehicles. His work is absolutely essential, especially in a world where Tesla is making it very hard to put salvage cars back on the road. And since it's open source, it is paving the way to make it easier and more affordable for people to repair their cars when things go wrong. Someone also making use of open source and repurposed parts is Damien McGuire, a fantastically clever and entertaining engineer who's working on open source conversions of some amazing cars. Yep, here's the guy behind the electric BMW 7 Series that some of you would have seen at Fully Charged Live last year in the UK. He's currently working on an electric Range Rover conversion, and he's not just using parts out of production electric cars, but low cost electric motors out of high volume production hybrids made by the likes of Toyota and Lexus. Damien, like everyone else on this list, is a really, truly lovely guy and great fun to be around. He's also crazy smart and deserves more subscribers. So please make sure you add him to your subscribe page as well. So there you have it, folks. I think you should be following this Earth Day week or day after Earth Day for most of you by now or month after Earth Day. I hope that you pay each of them a visit and you try out their channels and maybe hit subscribe as well. 
We're facing a major crisis right now in coronavirus. We are facing a global recession. And of course, we are fighting to ensure our planet stays a nice place for us humans to live. And while it's great that we've got companies like Tesla making amazing products, it's also super important to value those getting in on and making electric trails of their very own. I'll make sure I leave links to each of the channels I've covered in the show notes below. That's it. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to help us make more videos like this, please do like, comment and subscribe. You can send us a couple of dollars our way every month through Patreon, or you can send us some coffee through Ko-fi. I'll be back soon with more great content for you all to enjoy. But until then, stay safe, wash your hands and keep evolving.